Anyways, Lord Larks. Actually, this is the king. This is your first audience of the king, is it not? I tried to get it on all my subjects personally. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Are you one of the royal knights? Or are you a guild member? I'm a guild member. Hello. Hello. Oh, where did- Where did you come- Where- No, really? Where did he come from? Okay, anyways, start the Larks here. He lost- Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This is- This is my fault. I should have, uh... I should have, yeah, Hello. talked to him just earlier. <laughs> is he still talking about that? Can we really defeat the dragons? Did we do the right thing in choosing to fight them? We chose on our path. That way we must follow to the end. Good luck, Jack. Okay, talk to him again. In the past, we had a knights of Master of Fear Fighting. He helped the kingdom countless times. Everyone knew him as a hero, but one day he suddenly laid down weapon and left the kingdom. To live in obscurity, I'm hoping that when we hear some troubles, he will return to help us fret out in vain. Hello there. How could we persuade him to aid us doing our cause? Interesting who he's talking about. I kind of spoiled it earlier because I thought he used the name. But that's my fault. Anyways, the next place I'm going is the cook. The cook place, wherever the kitchen. I believe it's. It's on a second. No? Yeah, right here. That bacon hall, whatever. That's close enough, right? To the second floor. But, anyways, yeah, like I was saying, this, we saw a few interesting cutscenes there. Not much to say about them since I don't want to spoil anything. The only thing I will say though is, I kind of like the human story's pace. It's a little bit, I've noticed there's like some difference in the dialogue. But I like the way they're taking in here. Like, I don't think Lucian was as, or Lucian, was quite as. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't feel like he really got. What? Where are you going? Hi. Yes, I'm the son of Karen. Hmm, what? Like some shrink has got so arrogant. Did you know my father? I sure did. Karen came here to join a night, cooking breakfast lunch dinner. Okay, fantastic. He called on the food, saying it's good or bad, but he always ate everything on his plates. Like me, almost. I never thought they would come out and meet his son. His son, they got fired as soon as he joined the nights. <laughs> he looks so annoyed as he says that. I love it. Oh, sorry. This has to be fate. If there's anything you need, come running to me. I'll help you out. Thank you, Master. Though, you won't be used. Anyways, next place we'll be heading is the first floor. Some of you might be cheering, so I'm heading to the information room. Okay, sorry about that. I had some difficulties in the recording. Anyways, I'm in here to recruit Charlie, the uh, very flamboyant knight, if you remember. I believe he should be in here eventually. I don't remember where. I'm doing this much faster. <laughs> he might be on the hallway. Okay, like I was saying about 15 times. Their character, I'll be recruit. No, that's not what I was saying. We saw some interesting cutscenes. I like how Lucian was, uh... I feel like they... Did, I think they switched the dialogue between the human and non-human storylines. Like, you see a similar scene in the non-human storyline. But I feel like it's... I don't remember it being quite as good. To put it bluntly. In the non-human storyline. I might... I, I'll go back... I'll go back and rewatch that, because I saw the video from it. But I believe, uh... It's different, it's better in this file. But also, I'm really kind of confused about what they were trying to get out of Jasnik, because it's kind of good, actually. Obviously, you're not supposed to like him. He spent the entire first half of the game getting you fired from the Knights, you know, trying to pinpoint you for all the problems of Ridley, and it's really annoying, and it just fucking hate him, because just, he's incredibly annoying. But at the same time, like, I feel like in that last cutscene, they're just trying to make you feel bad for him. It's, or he's getting just desserts, which I'm, I'm okay with putting it that way. Because it's just like, he's in house arrest for his daughter who left him without saying a word. Which I guess, honestly, of him, I would not blame Ridley for leaving him without saying a word, because for one thing, he would probably lock her up. I was speaking to Charlie. He'd probably lock her up in her room and be like, Oh, you're not going anywhere, princess. Don't worry, your brigade will do everything for you. And I'll put a cloud, put a little doll in the arbor, and they can do everything for you. It'll be fine. It'll be extremely creepy. But, my point is, I don't know if you're supposed to feel bad for Jazz and you're supposed to be happy about that. Either way, the situation sucks, so I can't help but feel bad for him. Anyways, Charlie here, you have to do is talk to him. You're young, well bet, young man. Your legs seem especially strong. I'm very jealous. Um, he's actually coming on to me. Hello, it's you. Well, you're certainly drawn since you first joined the Knights. You're quite the warrior, haven't you? I, I guess. Indeed. You can't have any of those women can <laughs> claws into you. <laughs> How did I not pick up on this when I was younger? I'm stupid. I shall company protect you. Thank you, Charlie. I totally needed 
I totally need your help to drive women off. God knows, I don't. Never mind. But yeah, when I was younger, I knew there was something like different about him. I guess I didn't totally grasp the concept of homosexuality. But I totally did not get what he was getting at there. I was just like, oh, that's perfectly normal. He's not. He's just being a little protective. I don't know why. But yeah. There's, um, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> the next character I'll be recruiting, or actually I won't be recruiting this character, but I am heading down to, if you remember about a thousand times ago, a thousand times, but like 40 parts ago, I promised Walter that I would go find his wife, Sheila, who had gone crazy during the Algandar's outbreak. And I'm actually, now that I'm actually back in the castle, I can do that. It's kind of funny that you can make that promise about you know, 20 hours, of, like, 10, 15 hours of gameplay before you can actually do it, but... Yeah. Anyways, head down to the basement floor number one, which is this first... Believe it or not, this is one floor I'm going down. About... Well, actually, I think it's two, because this should be the knight's hallway. Right? I have plenty of time to do this, I'm not exactly bent on time right here. Dungeon stairs? Oh, I'm in the right spot. So basically you run in here, I believe it's like the fifth one. Cell four, okay. It's the fourth cell, all we do is press circle on it. Hey! She has been pretty calm since she's been here. The others are still pretty rowdy though. If you actually talk to these, no. or the guy next door won't shut up, I can't sleep like this. Oh. Screw you, let me out of here. Hey Patrick, you oversized the man head, let me out. I actually remember him from a lot of parts ago. And you can actually go in this one. We'll be needing to come in here later. I just momentarily forgot. Anyways, let's head by Sheila Cell and check up and see how she's doing. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry about what happens. I'm not... I'm, I don't know what got into me. Can you give me my husband my message? I guess screwed up that sentence royally. Tell him I'm alright and he doesn't have to worry about me. And apologize to Miss Barbara and Yuri for me, please. Miss Barbina, whatever. I'm still not convinced Barbina is a name. It's an actual name. But knowing my luck, I just punched him because I didn't like the look on his face. What the hell are you looking at? You want me to punch you too? Or why not? I have kicked plenty of people in my time. Trust me. Okay, so the next place I'll be heading is the training facility one floor up. That's a really stupid accent. I don't know where it came from. And I'm not really sure what I was going on about anymore. That happens a lot. As long as I have a floor, I'm heading to the training facility especially, er, specifically, if you remember where that is from our times in the Radiata Castle about 40 parts ago or so. I think I got expelled from the Knights in about part 15, 16. Don't mark my words for that. I'd actually have to double check that and I'm not gonna, that's not that important. But anyways, I'm going to head to the... Okay, wow, I'm completely... I don't even remember running through this hallway in the first place. That I, yeah, I, okay, I, I made the boobs for a moment. I think I remember walking through here. This is bad. My memory's being horrible. <laughs> so actually, in the since the that was a very bad transition, but since the last uh, recording of this, I'm out of school now. I believe the last time I recorded was end of April. And now it's like part way through May. So yeah, talk to Nina here when she's doing this. I, how can I improve the target dummies that break back? I got lots of practice fights for the other students, but they always seem to be holding back some girl or something. I got it, you! I'm talking to myself, but since you're standing there, I'll talk to you anyways. Let's have a practice still say okay. But give me everything you got, I need the practice. Again, no, she needs it. She's a knight who's roughly level 5, if I'm not mistaken. I might actually waste a mouse ball on this. It's level 11, my bad. But basically, you should be able to about, uh, five shot her. One, oh, no. Two shot. <laughs> I don't remember how much damage I do. Herbic Shreds. Cool, this is how I should be practicing. Come back again, we should spar again. I think I ever misread that again. And I'm saying again a lot. Too much. But basically, at this point, I'm going to be heading back to the jail cell. So it's kind of, uh... This is very preemptive, what I'm about to do. I'll explain it a little bit more fully in a second. 
Actually, I'll explain it fully now, because why not? Basically, in order to recruit Patrick and Putt, two of these jailers we've seen down here, you need to uh, trigger the cutscene of one of them. Not a cutscene exactly, but a certain conversation. You need to trigger it with them. And then, or with Patrick specifically, you need to talk to him, which I'll do in a second. It's, I believe it happens around 8.30, 8.45, so I'm about five hours too early, but I don't want to miss this at all. You have to talk to him at a certain time, which I'll show you. And then you have to immediately, or not immediately, but within the time span of maybe an hour and a half, talk to Putt, who's in the room over. If you do not do this, Putt will not be able to be recruited. So if you're looking to win 100% your friend's book, your friend's list, you will need to do this. I'm... Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Basically, I'm gonna be camping out in here for the next uh, five hours. So, yeah. Basically, Patrick, right? No, it's Putt. Oh goodness, I'm really early. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll meet you guys back here once he's waking up. Or once something happens. How about that? Speaking of which, here is Patrick, what I was talking about. Putt is always sleeping, I don't like working with someone so lazy. Speaking of which, he's sleeping right now. It is maybe 5 o'clock, which is weird to me. Because not even I sleep in the 5. Okay, he's on the move. He's freaking alcohol, he's drinking the booze. What are you doing? Shoot, you weren't supposed to see me like this, <laughs> even though you just flatly pulled it out while I was standing here. You're on duty. Oh no, uh, don't tell Putt I was drinking the job, okay? I won't, thanks. You're welcome. If someone found out I was been drinking the job, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to say the Putt anymore. From now on, I'll only drink my stuff when no one's around. So that's smart. If you need something, just yell. Okay, so after that conversation, you need to immediately run over here into the next room, like the next room immediately I went into earlier, and talk to Putt, who should be thing on the ground, but I believe I might have to wait a little bit. Hi. What are you doing? Don't tell Patrick you're playing hooky. I won't. Thanks, I'll definitely repay you. Well, that was easy. If you do not do this on the same day, then, like, if it hits midnight before you talk to him, and I don't believe he's laying there this entire time, then you will not be able to recruit him. So you'll be in trouble. So that basically wraps up the number of char like, characters we can get in here right now. There are still a few more knights to be recruited, namely Nina and Natalie and Leonard. And maybe a few more that I'm like, I can't remember off the top of my head. But Nina, all we have to do is come back and duel her again tomorrow. She'll be fine. Recruit her. And then the other two will come later, and pretty naturally. But at this point, I'm actually going to do a fun little... Uh, side thing. I believe someone has actually talked about it in the comments, so if you read the comments on my videos, you might know about this already. But it's actually a very good flash. It's a very good, uh... A very good... What, what's the word I'm looking for? Reference to... A previous try Square Enix game, Star Ocean to the end of time. And as many of you probably know by this point, I've actually let's play this game. It was my first let's play, so that actually... I'll be completely honest, that was part of the reason that all oh, that had a little factor in why I let's play this game. <laughs> Mostly because I just wanted to say, you know, well I didn't want to say that, like, oh look, hey, look, and I went to the wrong floor. But like, it's a, it's a nice little connection that I, I, couldn't, I couldn't pass up on it, it was just like, it was too perfect, it was too good timing, so I had to do it. But I basically, in order to trigger this little reference, we'll be seeing here in a second, all you have to do is run by Ridley's room. He's walk right in. Excuse me, no one's using it. Let's just walk into a girl who's left the castle's room, which I'm not sure why there aren't guards in here or anything. Ridley? Who, who's there? <laughs> yes! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, where? And the music here is pretty awesome, also. But we'll go to, we'll go to here to get them later, so don't worry about that. My room? I was in Ridley's room. Whoa, what's with this armor? <laughs> A problem with the translation machine. What? What? That armor? Yours? What? Who? Where? It's okay. The underfelt plant protection pack is yes, UB3. It strikes again. What was that all about? Anyway, I guess this means I get to keep this. Yes, you actually get Fate's armor from Star Wars until the end of time. I think it's hilarious, to be honest. 
is not quite as good as the other armor we have. But, as opposed to the Damien mail we got last part, or two or three parts ago now, this one has HP restoration on it. And it resists water, for some whatever reason, because he has blue hair, I guess, but there's actually no reason why I should. From the game. I just leveled a little too, like, that music playing. I believe it was Mission to the Deep Space. Was that Mission to the Deep Space? I think it was Mission to the Deep Space from... It's actually in a lot of the Starshin games. I believe it was first in 2, then they reused it for 3, then again in Radiata Stories. Like, we'll be hearing that again later. It is a fan it's actually a fantastic song, and I love all the... the each evolution's been pretty cool. Because in, like, Starshin 2, it was mostly... Back in the time, that came, that came out back in the 90s, I believe. Maybe early 2000s, I think it's 90s, so. You know, it's, I was on the PlayStation, they don't have orchestral soundtracks, so it's gonna be completely... I'm not gonna say, like, 16-bit or whatever, but whatever, how many bits it were, it was, it was like, it's obviously like MIDI, MIDI file, MIDI-ish sounding. And I believe if we wait here, we'll find Seranium walking by. So I'm going to be recruiting him next, and I'm gonna keep this on for a while. Because it is actually pretty cool, I like it. <laughs> it looks kind of awkward on Jack. I don't know. Like, is the sleeveless, like, seeing his actual full arm is really weird to me. After, like, thousands of armor we've had that, you know, don't show his arm at all. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be waiting here for Geranium. And I love that they actually threw in the UB3 reference. I know I already, I already freaked out about that, but... <laughs> I, I love that. The entire thing was just blew my mind the first time I saw it. Uh, like I was saying, the last time I recorded was quite a while ago. I'm sorry about that. Not much I can do, or there wasn't much I could do, you know, finals times. Hopefully most of you have done your finals. Or at least you're through finals. You don't have to sit through that torture anymore. For those of you who might not have done it, good luck. I'm, I'm wishing you all the best. And if your finals are this week, why are you watching this video? Yada yada, I, I couldn't help but make that joke. Because Rainy, where are you? I could have sworn he came walking from this way.